Hi everyone, I'm Nicholas. Welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be slightly different from what I do normally because I really want to show you guys how to optimize your gameplay in Warzone. And it took me quite a while to really figure how to, you know, really optimize the settings. I've tried literally everything. So today, uh, because of everything that I've been through, I really want to show you guys what are the most smoothest and uh, best settings to run Warzone on. If you would like to know the setup of my computer, pretty much the rig and the specifications, they will be linked in the description box below. So at the end of the video, you guys can be the judge to what I'm about to show you. You know, you can compare whether, uh, you know, the quality and everything, the stability is what I'm most concerned. So you guys can be the judge of that. I'll show the gameplay in, at the end of the video. So without further ado, let's get right into it straight away. So um, I'm in Malaysia and I'm playing on the America server. So that is very important in terms of latency. I feel like anything, if it goes above 25, let's say around 50 to 70, sometimes that may not be as good. Your bullets and stuff may not register as well. So it's important that you choose matches that are around 25 ms. So you can open up, um, as you can see, I have on the top left, I have the FPS corner, latency, and also the GPU temperature. So in order to turn this on, go into options, go into general, go all the way down. As you can see over here, frames per second counter, turn this on, turn on server latency, Packet loss, I'm not too worried about. If you have a stable and you know, stable internet connection, this is not much, uh, not something you need to worry about. So I would recommend to turn on graphics processing unit temperature. Turn this on so you know it could be your GPU overheating. So that's why you may not have um, the performance as you would like to. So these are the three main components that we mainly want to focus on in terms of monitoring our gameplay. And this is more for a, I would say a mid to high gaming setup. So we would want to keep our frames per second at I would say a good, a stable 60 frames per second, which is already really, really difficult to achieve as Warzone requires quite a difficult, um, you know, quite a high graphical gaming setup. Now, before we jump into the graphics section, which is very important, I mean, this pretty much dictates what kind of gameplay that you would have. But there's one thing that I would like to point out in the general section, and that would be field of view. I know you don't think that this would affect your gameplay, but to be honest, this really plays a really big role. And no matter how good you optimize the settings in your graphics, you also need to pay really close attention to the field of view. Now, as you can see, field of view over here, we have four different options. So from 60, 80, 100, and 120. Now, for everyone who has installed Warzone, I believe that it would be set at 80 at default. So 80 would be your default over here. And for me, I find 100 really the sweet spot. I mean, of course, if you're able to run it at 120, that would be the absolute uh, ideal situation. But I want you, what I want you to do now is remain the graphic settings of yours. I want you to change the field of view. Tell me if there's a difference in terms of gameplay. Because for me, I've been fiddling around the graphic settings and everything. But as soon as I change my field of view, everything changes. Um, I realized that my gameplay is much more stable and much more smooth. So I used to put 120 in the past because come on, th that is, I would say, the most ideal situation. But Unfortunately, for my desktop, I don't think I'm able to run that because when I run 120, I always realize that when it comes to firefights, so when you encounter an enemy, there tends to always be lag or when there's tons of explosion happening on screen, that's usually where my computer can't really keep up. So funny enough, field of view really plays a role in terms of stability. For me, um, I tried 80 as well, which was the best, I would say the most stable. But then again, as you can see, in terms of the field of view, it's quite difficult to see whether enemies are around the corner. So for me, I really find 100 the sweet spot. So you, can, you guys can actually play around with the field of view. Just go and see which one fits you the most. So the moment that you guys have been waiting for, here we have the graphical setting, but please, please pay attention to field of view. All right, so in the graphical setting, I have my settings at full screen. 
So make sure your display monitor is selected. Make sure your graphics card is selected. As for screen refresh rate, now my desktop, um, my display over here can run at 144 hertz, but I've decided to go to choose 60. And I don't know why there are two different options of 60 here, but I guess either one works. So in terms of render resolution, I decided to go with 1920 and 1080 and also at 100. Usually, sometimes when you enter the game, it would be at 66 for some reason. But as you can see, um, it would also play a big part. But I would recommend going for 100 because 66 is it's not that pleasing to the eye. So aspect ratio, just go for automatic. Sync every frame. Now, I know if you like if you don't like choppy frames you know you want everything to be sync but your computer needs to be it needs to have you need to really have that kind of capability in order to have vsync turned on whereas in my case i want something that is more um you know something i can react really quickly so i decide to turn vsync off i think in this case we're all going more for performance rather than the quality yeah and for custom frame rate limit this is very important as well make sure you turn this to custom and go into advanced moving down over here um, this is this isn't really important so i just disable nvidia highlights pretty much it will record any sort of events that is happening in the game that they feel is significant but i don't really feel that that is important to me so i'll turn this off now gamma display gamma just uh, let it stay at 2.2 as rgb over here, all right, so to be honest, except for texture resolution, anything that you change in other section doesn't really impact on the gameplay itself. So in order to monitor this, you just check the above over here, VRAM usage. So no matter, however I toggle whichever options that are available here, it's not going to really affect the VRAM usage. So what we're really concerned is the texture resolution so uh, for me the default setting was set to high as you can see straight away how the vram usage changes so it utilizes more ram over here now in my case i think high is a little too much for me you know i would prefer more performance more stability so i'll choose to go with normal you can go with low or even very low but as you can see over here very low and low it's not much of a difference so if you really if your device can't really support i would suggest going with low but if it's very low it really does um you know disrupt the gameplay and i don't think that's too good so either i would suggest to go with low but if you can if you absolutely can try normal now you guys can also follow the other settings that i have so i have texture filter set to normal particle quality set to high bullet impacts and sprays enabled tessellation near um, shadow map we have that extra uh, cage spot shadows enabled cage sun shadows enabled particle lighting at high direct x disabled ambient occlusion disabled screen space reflection disabled anti-aliasing uh, just put this as 1x i guess that's the best i mean if you put this at higher um, it might be more difficult to run the game but i would say this is not bad depth of field so let's put this as disabled filmic strength at one uh, world motion blur disabled weapon motion blur enable this and film grain at 0 0.25 now let me show you how the gameplay runs for me so you guys can be the judge of this all right so make sure we're what we're trying to achieve here is more towards performance but at the same time sort of remain a little bit of that quality you know we don't want it to look really really bad so but our main focus here is still a stable frame rate that we want to achieve at 60 frames per second so i hope you guys enjoyed the rest of the video let me know what you think in the comment section box below and if you need any help just leave a comment so thank you all and i will see you guys in the next video battle royale be advised gas is closing in proceed to the safe zone
Light vehicle here. Affirmative. Enemies in the area! Survive and you can deploy. Win here and you return to the front line. You lose, your fight is over. It's time. Breaks. Well done. The fight for redeployment. Does anyone need this? Objective is to eliminate the bounty target. Your teammate was broken. They're no longer with us. Moving. Affirmative. Enemies in the area.
value as a wise teacher.